The Volvo XC90 began life back in 1998 when Volvo decided it needed a vehicle to compete with the SUV or sports utility vehicle 4x4 market. Initially, this seemed to be a brave move for Volvo, as SUVs don't sell well in their home country of Sweden, where weather conditions demand heavier duty four-wheel drive vehicles. However, as they are planning to sell three quarters of the XC90s in the USA, where half the vehicles sold are sports utility vehicles, the Swedish market doesn't seem so relevant. Although the XC90 is a completely new vehicle, it does share its platform with the S60, V70 and S80 models although with a wider track, longer wheelbase and steel subframes rather than alloy. The four-wheel drive system is also a new design, which has already been successfully fitted to some of the S60 models. Appreciating that owners of these type of vehicles rarely go off-road, the car has 95% front drive under normal driving conditions. Only when the wheels start to lose grip does the drive switch towards rear wheels. Style-wise, Volvo have obviously worked hard to retain their identity with the XC90. When questioned, US buyers said they didn't want a vehicle that was too aggressive and macho. And whilst the XC90 isn't too in your face, it doesn't mean it's not purposeful. Though sitting high up on its 18-inch alloy wheels, it has a remarkably low centre of gravity, with the engine and gearbox mounted as low as possible. Size-wise, the car is similar to the BMW and the Mercedes M-Class though it is slightly longer due to the fact that it has seven seats fitted as standard. When it is launched in this country, the XC90 will have a choice of two engines, a 2.9 petrol unit producing 270 brake horsepower and a 2.4 turbo diesel producing 163 brake horsepower. Although the petrol unit will get you to 60 in under nine seconds, you'll pay at the pumps with a fuel economy of 21.5 mpg. The diesel, though, will give you a much more frugal 35 to the gallon. The car's not short on gadgetry either, being fitted with ABS, electronic brake distribution, traction and skid control, and a new roll stability system, which monitors and controls body roll. A system which works whether the car is empty or fully loaded with passengers and luggage. When it goes on sale towards the end of the year, you can expect to pay under 30 grand for the XC90 diesel, which is similar to the Mercedes M-Class, but around five grand cheaper than the similar spec BMW. Volvo are aiming to sell 3,500 units in its first year and keen pricing will certainly help this. But with BMW and Mercedes selling 12,000 units last year, it's certainly the market to be in. So the XC90 certainly looks an exciting prospect. The lines are clean without looking like it can't handle the rough stuff. And with the use of those tried and tested engines, suspension parts and floor pans, you can be sure the Volvo will be a good performer. Plus at under 30 grand, it's got a price to tempt many away from their regular saloon cars.